Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, let us discuss module wise very important questions for examination related to basic electronics and communication engineering subject is concerned. So let us go module wise. The first module, in this module rectifier is the very important question. We have three rectifiers in our syllabus. So out of these three rectifiers, one question will be there for sure in exam. So the second important question is the block diagram of DC power supply. So the block diagram of DC power supply can also be asked in this uh, chapter. Since we have four chapters, there are many questions here. So they may ask block diagram or they may neglect this block diagram of DC power supply. So if they ask, you can easily write this block diagram. So then the next very important question here is the voltage multipliers. So voltage multipliers in the sense voltage doubler and tripler tripler are there so this question also can be expected in exam but out of these three i prefer this rectifier is where one of the very important question and asked many times in the exam in the previous question papers also and then coming to the amplifiers here we have very small concepts and we can neglect this multi-stage amplifiers also here uh, but the very important question is the type of amplifiers. So the fourth important question I say is the type of amplifiers uh, here. Depending on the different uh, criteria, we are going to differentiate the amplifiers. So type of amplifiers is very important here. And the next important question is here the negative feedback. The characteristics of negative feedback are also asked in the previous exams. So negative feedback is also very, very important. You need to just write the characteristics uh, five to six characteristics with the one or two lines of explanation so this is also very important and the next question we can predict is in operational amplifiers the first thing is ideal op-amp characteristics so ideal characteristics of the op-amp and then there are different op-amp circuits we have studied and there is no derivation for the output so inverting amplifier non-inverting amplifier summer and then integrator and differentiator. So these are the things we have seen in op-amp chapter. So they may ask to write any op-amp circuits like two, three op-amp applications they may ask or they may ask individually like inverting and non-inverting configuration or integrator and differentiator circuits. So here you need to just write the circuit and the output expression that is enough. So out of these two, one question will be there on op-amp for sure. And also here rectifiers is very important and then here in the type of amplifiers we can expect the question and then coming to the oscillators we have again four types of oscillators in uh, oscillator chapter we have studied ladder network oscillator and then uh, vein bridge oscillator single stage a stable oscillator and crystal oscillator out of these four this ladder network oscillator is very very important and also the vein bridge oscillator is very important out of these four we can expect one question in exam uh, otherwise they may also ask condition for oscillation so condition for oscillation is uh, there are two uh, conditions we need to write and little bit of explanation so i say in this chapter one question is from the rectifiers will come one question from the amplifiers like type of amplifier and out of these two one question will be there for sure and then in oscillator if you read these four oscillators otherwise if you read these two you may get one question also so this is the very important questions in module one in module two coming to module two this is of uh, digital electronics the starting with the logic gates so logic gates are very important here you need to know which are basic gates and which are universal gates the question may also comes like explain only basic gates and uh, only universal gates like that so logic gate is one of the very important question here and then coming to bistable SR by stable is important. So SR by stable is studied um, in detail uh, for four different cases of inputs. So SR by stable is very important question. And then coming to the microcontroller system, we have a block diagram. So block diagram of microcontroller system with input and outputs is also important here. And then multiplexer and decoder. Out of these two, we can expect one question. Otherwise, half adder and full adder is very, very important. Half adder and full adder asked many times in digital electronic subject also and also in basic electronic subject. So you can expect this is a sure question in exam we can say half adder and full adder. And then uh, we may also get 4 is to 1 mux and uh, 3 is to 8 decoder. 
and then coming to the shift registers and counters this is a bit uh, lengthy question we can say so you need to write the block diagram of the shift register and also the truth table if they ask so uh, both the questions may not come in exam they may ask shift register or they may ask counter also so here shift register is the high preferred question so four bit shift register is studied so this question may come in exam also and then so in this module we can easily predict one question is uh, sr by stable this is also very important question or you may uh, you may get some other by stable like d by stable and jk by stable also so one question will be there from by stable for sure and half adder and full adder is very very important and also if you study 4 is to 1 3 is to 8 decoder and the shift register you can easily get 20 marks in this module this is very easy chapter we can say and then in module 3 here also we have four chapters one is embedded system uh, basics and the differences sensor and interfacing and then actuators and communication interface here the definition of embedded system is important and then there are many differences here so the difference between the embedded system and general purpose system and then uh, risk and sysc microcontroller and microprocessor and harvard and vanuman so one difference question will be there so differences they will ask for sure this is also a very important question microcontroller and microprocessor are general purpose and embedded system and risk and sysc so these questions are very important harvard and von neumann they rarely ask so here general purpose embedded and uh, microcontroller microprocessor differences are very very important this question out of these four harvard and von neumann also out of these four one question will be there for sure in examination and then coming to the next chapter sensor and interfacing here we have one block diagram of instrumentation system and then few transducers and sensors we have discussed so uh, hardly we can get one question from this like uh, different transducers what is transducer and what are what are uh, sensors so transducers and uh, sensors we can't expect a question from this even if they ask from uh, for four to uh, three to four marks they may ask general question what is transducer sensor and the types and coming to the actuator here are the very important questions of this module led is there seven segment display is there here seven segment display is very very important they may ask and also stepper motor stepper motor is also very important here you are not supposed to skip these concepts so stepper motor is also very important and relay fuse buzzer push button switch for all these we will be having a block diagram connected to a microcontroller so out of these seven segment led stepper motor and a buzzer and a push button switch we can expect this seven segment and stepper motor in the examination and the next preference is for buzzer as well as a push button switch and keyboard rarely they may ask or they may not ask why because this is a bit complex question uh, for the first year uh, level the reading the of uh, keyboard is a bit complex question so we can expect this seven segment display in exam and coming to the fourth chapter here we have uart parallel interface usb wi-fi gprs these are just the block diagrams and a little bit of explanation so that you can expect one question from UART, UART or uh, USB. I may not uh, prefer this parallel interface also. UART, USB, Wi Fi, and GPRS are very important. Here also, GPRS can be neglected. So, these three are very, very important for the exam. This is from module 3. Coming to module 4, here is uh, analog and digital communication and uh, some uh, digital communication and analog communication concepts and then radio wave multiple axis fading and all so here the very important question is am fm and pm so uh, on the top of this you need to understand what is modulation they may ask what is modulation and explain analog modulation schemes if they ask analog modulation schemes you need to explain what is am fm pm with waveforms this is a very very important question and also they may ask digital modulation schemes like ask fsk and psk this is a digital modulation schemes so out of these two one question will be there for sure in exam am fm pm waveforms ask fsk psk and waveforms and the definition of modulation and then pcm is also very important here we have uh, sampling 
uh, sampling what is aliasing so these kind of question may come or they may directly ask what is pcm with a block diagram you need to explain and the next question will be from radio wave propagation or pcm radio wave propagation also we can uh, expect here the three uh, waves we need to um, explain and sampling nyquist rate is also very very important so out of these four we can expect two questions for sure two or three also and one question will be there from antennas antennas are very important and the types of antennas we have also discussed so this question is very very important uh, in this part and coming to the next preference they may ask multipath and fading so the sixth pre preferred question is multipath what is multipath and different types of multipath and uh, how to avoid fading and all this question may come in exam uh, over multiple access techniques and radio transmission so these are the six very important questions we can expect in this module 4 then coming to module 5 here it is very easy to uh, predict the question here it is very easy chapter also the first thing is the block diagram or the diagram of cellular telephone system uh, cellular telephone system is very important here so this part and then the concept of cell and frequency reuse and what is sector this question may also come this is very very important out of these two one question will be there out of these two questions and then you may ask to write the differences between 1g 2g 3g and 4g and what are the what is the bandwidth and the differences and all what are all the facilities we are going to get you can write and then uh, one question is there here the high level architecture of lte uh, that is from gsm to lte this question is also there in uh, your model model question paper so gsm to lte question also is important here and then coming to the satellite communication part here one question will be there for sure in the satellite communication this can be block diagram of satellite communication or the types of satellites uh, with respect to the orbits are concerned this question will be there for sure this is also important and then ofc ofc is very very important i will prefer ofc block diagram uh, very very important here in the optical fiber communication chapter and also microwave communication so here microwave communication so here we have block diagram of satellite communication block diagram of ofc block diagram of microwave communication if you read these three you will get one question for sure in exam and also block diagram of cellular telephone system and cell sector and the differences and the gsm lt so these questions we can predict in this chapter are very very important out of this i say cellular telephone system ofc and satellite are very important and then microwave communication also here also one more question we can uh, get is bluetooth so bluetooth is also very important here so these are very important questions and uh, you can easily score well if you read these questions for example thank you